Today we remember in a special way all those who have been students and staff in Clongos and have now been called home to God. And just this morning, our latest departure, John Moore, who left here in 1952, he came here from Dingle. And we remember especially John's wife and his children and his grandchildren and his fellow Clongonians and all those who mourn his passing. So we remember him in a special way. So all those departed brethren who have gone to new life, during their time in school, they grew in wisdom and knowledge, created values for themselves and formed friendships for life as they prepared to their place in the world. So, as I said, on behalf of the present community and the family of Clongos, a special welcome to all of you who are joining us on this special occasion. You remember those who have died during the year as grandfather, perhaps, as a father, an uncle or a cousin, a classmate, a colleague, member of staff, or simply as friends. And we pray for them. And as we do so, let us thank God for the gift of their life and for all that they came to mean to us in so many different ways. And this year, as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of the ending of World War II, we remember especially our past pupils and those of our twin school, Portora, in Enniskillen who, as I said, who gave their tomorrow that we might have our today. Who gave their tomorrow that we might have our today. You are precious to me, I have called you by your name. As we listen to each name, a lighted candle will be brought to the altar by a current member of Rhetoric. In memory of each one, of those whom we remember in a special way this morning. And they are in chronological order. 1941, Richard Cunahan, and 1942, Francis Mulrine. Nineteen forty three, Thomas Bacon and Charles Burke. 1944, Dermot Waldron. 1945, Joseph Hughes and William Prendeville. 1947, Raymond Kyo, James Keenan and Michael Kilcoyne. 1949, Frank Kelly. 1950, Bernard Corbally and Donald Hughes and Joshua Keems. Seamus O'Freeman. 1952, Roger Casey, Eamon McSherra, and as I mentioned him already, Michael Moore, or John Moore, sorry. 1953, Michael Bishop and Julian Chapman. 1954, Brian Conroy. 1955, John Barrett and Boyd Oxlade. 1956, Michael Doyle. 1957, Dermot Burns, Philip Fogarty, John McColgan, and Godfrey O'Donnell. 1958, Brendan Kennedy, and Max Cheevers, in 1961, with Peter McGill and Paul O'Farrell. 1965, Thomas O'Brien. 1966, Michael Boland and David Orr. 1977, Phil O'Reilly. 1989, Robert Behan. And for the James Kelly and Eric Guiry, who taught here in the mid-60s. 
these, our brothers, and those who went before them, have left us a tradition which we, the present generation of Clongonians, are happy and proud to continue, seeking to live our lives in the spirit of our school motto, Eternan on Caduca, and as always, Ad Maiorum Dei Gloriam for the greater glory of God. And so now we bring to the altar the record of their time spent here, as Mr. Declan O'Keefe, our assistant archivist, bears the Clongo's record in which are written the names of all those who are students here and in Tullabeg from our foundation in 1814 until 1932. And Sam Arkwright presents the second century listings and Oshin Devitt offers the most recent copy of the Clongonian. And lastly, Rory Moran, captain of the school, brings the list of the names I have just read out. Let us pray that these offerings, symbolising the lives of our deceased past pupils and staff, may be acceptable to God our Father, along with, the, with our offering of our own lives today. Matthew Cassidy will give the first reading from the prophet Isaiah. You are precious to me, I have called you by your name. And so now as we acknowledge sinners as we are, our great need of God's loving forgiveness as we pray that God will forgive them, let us prepare to celebrate our great act of thanksgiving, which is the sacred mystery of the Eucharist, as we listen to the ancient Gregorian Latin introit, Requiem eternam dona eis domine, et lux perpetua luce et eis. Eternal rest give to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine on them. 